you're joined by a prospect right now coming up in the upcoming draft. David Reinbacker joins us here live from Finland, I believe, getting all set for the World Championships. David, how excited are you for the World Championships? This must be a lot of fun for you. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Thanks, guys, for the mention. Absolutely. We're excited no. to get you on here. I want to talk a little bit. You've had a, a lot of success uh, with Cloten in the Swiss League after what you did as a 16-year-old. What did you learn in that year when you were 16 that helped you this season? I would say just like playing with, I would say, no mistakes, just like playing, having fun, enjoying the season. It was it was an unreal season. I had so much fun, so much like great guys around me, um, great stuff. So it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it really. You seem to be adding a little more hitting and physical play to your game. Is that something you enjoy doing, something you've recently kind of put a focus on? Not really. Uh, I try to like play hard when it's it's the right time and then play smart when it's the time. It's like a, a mix, um, not to like focus on, on the hard, hard game. So I would say it was it was just when, when the time was was there. I uh, play hard, but I'm not. I'm not. A lot of people are comparing you to Moritz Sider. Have you heard that? Do you like that? Uh, do you think you play a similar game to him? Uh, I didn't hurt that, but uh, it's nice for sure to like be compared uh, to a big, big guy like him. But I would say I'm not the guy who who plays like him. Like he's play, he plays a little bit harder than me. Um, he's a little bit higher, stronger. So I would not say that I'm I'm the same playing guy like him. So it's nice to be compared to him, but uh, I would try to, to, to show my own playing style. Who are some defensemen in the NHL that you do like to watch? Um, for sure, Roman Yossi, uh, the Swiss guy. So... Yeah, he's a two-way defenseman. He can play offense, but still defense. So he's unbelievable. So yeah, he's my idol, I would say. I have to ask about the league that you played in because when I was watching your game tape, lots of forechecking against you. It's a fast league. For the people that don't watch the Swiss League, it's it's fast. It's back and forth. It's You got to move the puck quick. And you played a lot of minutes, had a lot of breakouts. I'm just curious, how do you think you played this year in this league? It was your second year playing in the league. How do you feel the whole season just kind of went for you kind of getting better as the year went on? Um, for sure, the league is is much different to the other league. It's more like skating and uh, some skills. But um, I would say it went down pretty good. I started with like only a couple minutes and then went on from game to game putting up some more minutes and for sure my teammates they helped me it was much easier to play with the first unit with the import guys they're so experienced so it was a way easier to play with them um so it gave me a big confidence i was pretty happy to play with those guys and then it just keep rolling the whole season i had fun and the team had fun we won some huge games uh, so it was a pretty special season do you know where you'll play next season? And like, is the AHL a league that you'd be open to playing in? For me, um, I would rather like to stay one more year uh, here in Switzerland. Um, I feel com confident here. Um, I would say I'll, I will get the trust again to play such big minutes or more. So for me, it would be the right decision to stay one more year, but uh, it's not in my, I would say not in my hands. So uh, for sure. Uh, AHL would be nice, but um, one more year in Switzerland also. So, yeah, we will see what happens. Yeah, I'm sure it's it's probably a crazy time for you with, like, everything going on in the draft. Uh, I wanted to go back a little bit to the World Juniors. What was that whole experience like for you? That must have been probably some of the most fun kind of hockey tournament you ever played in. For sure. Every World Juniors, uh, U18 or U20, they're so special because you play against the best from, from your age, so it's pretty special. Like, I played against Bedard, he's he's unreal. So, there's so many good players there. 
always nice to play against those uh, match up and see where you stand. So it was a pretty, pretty nice experience. I enjoyed it a lot. Like not the way we wanted to end, uh, getting sent down, but that's hockey. Um, next year, I hope we will get back up. So yeah, we will see what happens. And it, it feels like that's what's happening with Austria. You guys are, are building. Like it feels like Austria is really starting to get more hockey. Do you think that's something new? Is Austria buying into hockey more? Because I know your dad played, your brother played. Like, feels like hockey must be a big deal in Austria. Yeah, not a big, big deal. Uh, it's coming more and more uh, from the years now. But uh, I think now it's good that uh, like couple players getting drafted and getting highly drafted that we can see like Austria can also produce some NHL players. Um, so it's always nice. Uh, that um, some Austrian kids are getting drafted as high as possible to show that Austria can also produce something. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask a little bit about the Swiss League as well. You mentioned a lot of the teammates were really helping you throughout the season. They must be pretty happy when they see the young kid playing 20 minutes a night in the playoffs. Like, they're probably pretty proud of you for what you did this year. How cool was that just kind of with your teammates and everybody coming together for the playoffs? It was... I would say it was the best year um, I had um, since I'm playing hockey. There were so many nice guys there. We had a lot of fun. Um, everyone supported everyone. We knew we were the underdog in this league. Uh, we got to like stick together and play 100% every shift that something could happen. So yeah, the import guys and the older guys, they helped me. They They pushed me. They... They showed me every single like detail they saw, so it was it was pretty pretty, I would say, fun and unreal season. So they they helped me to to get the the stance where I'm now. That's awesome. I got to ask, do you uh, do you follow any of the draft rankings, David? Because you've been shooting up the draft rankings all season. Do you peep in at all, or are people texting you, or your friends like, hey, look, you're at this spot? Anything like that? <laughs> Yeah, some some players uh, they ask or like send me some pictures, especially here in the national team. They they talk about it, but like only for a couple minutes because it's only like I would say speculation. Um, you can see it in June where I will get picked. So we all don't know. Um, it's not in my hands. Uh, I can only like play and having fun. So. For sure, it's nice to hear where you're standing, but it's only, like I would say, a number of speculation. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, I want to have some fun here as we close out this. Can I get you some speed round questions? People want to know a little bit of non-hockey stuff from you. So I'm going to throw some quick questions at you, and you just give me a quick answer about it. I'll start. Your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? I... I really don't know favorite TV show. I only look like Netflix. So, um, yeah, that's on Netflix, I would say Family Guy or The Big Bang Theory. Those two. Okay. The two good ones. Two good ones. Okay. I'll change it up then. Your favorite funny movie. Favorite funny movie? Um, I would say Kinskopfe. I don't know if the like the guys from America know this, this this movie. It's like pretty special here in like oh. I would say by European. Okay. I'm gonna have to get it translated to English then. If it's that funny, I'm gonna have to watch it, dude. So on your recommendation. <laughs> uh, we 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 enjoy talking with um, prospects of the draft from around the world because I always think this question's really interesting because I've heard bananas and kiwis. What's a what's a weird topping that you like on pizza? Weird topping. For me, it's ananas because it's Pizza Hawaii. It's like a no-go, so I would say ananas. <laughs> hey, that was made in, uh, it was actually invented in Canada, the Hawaiian pizza. So there you go. We like that. <laughs> um, your favorite superhero. Which superhero do you like favorite the most? Superhero? Spider-Man for sure. Bingo. I agree 100%. What kind of music do you like? <laughs> what music are you into, Dave? Rap. For sure. Hey, good. Do you have a favorite guy right now? Who are you listening to right now? Yeah, Drake. Fair enough. Another Canadian. I think it's it's making a lot of sense here. Your Canadian listeners are going to like you. Uh, what about uh, any other sports? Uh, do you, did you play anything growing up? Do you like playing anything in the off season? Like, what other sports do you kind of like to follow or play? 
I started with golf. I uh, kind of like it because I think every second hockey player is playing golf, so I started too. <laughs> so I kind of like it. I'm not the, the best in it, but it's getting better and better every practice. So yeah, we will see where I'm standing at the end of the summer. <laughs> well, that's good to hear because I've heard a lot of hockey players, some of them just start playing and they're really good. So I'm, I'm being honest here. I'm glad you didn't start out and were amazing at golf. You need to, you need to work. <laughs> there, so that's good to hear. Well, hey, Dave, this has been a, a pleasure. We really enjoy you uh, taking some time here. I know it's, it's almost midnight over there. You're in Finland right now, right? For the world championships? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in awesome. Finland right now. Wow. So, I've man, uh, thank you so much for taking the time today. We're excited to watch it. You guys get going in like two days here, right? So I'm sure you guys and yeah. the whole team are very excited for it. So we wish you all the luck here for the World Championships. And, and thanks for taking the time today, David. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the invention. Thank you. Absolutely. There he is, David Reinbacker, right shot defenseman. Coming up in the uh, 2023 draft. Will he be there when the Canucks select at 11? I hope so.